Welcome to Halacha for Children. Every day we are going to be learning in this series two halachis. Before we begin learning the halachis itself, I would like to first go over any rules that the Shulchan Aruch is going to be bringing in the halachis that we're going to be learning. So in today's two halachis, I'd like to first learn two very important rules. Rule number one is Mailin Bakaydesh Ve'ein Meiridin which means that if we have the opportunity to do two mitzvahs and we don't know which mitzvah should we do first, then we will apply the rule that we should first start with the mitzvah of lesser holiness, less kedusha, and then we should continue to ascend and grow in kedusha by doing the second mitzvah. Rule number two is that when a person has an opportunity to do a mitzvah right now, Ein mavirin al ha mitzvahs. A person should not put aside this mitzvah and delay this mitzvah to do another mitzvah. Being that this opportunity is presented to you right here and right now, you have an obligation to first do this mitzvah. So starting with the first halacha today is that if a person has the mitzvah of putting on their talis gadol and putting on their tefillin, which one of these two should they put on first? So says the Shulchan Aruch that first the person should put on the talus gadol and only then should they put on their tefillin. Why? Because of Mailin Bakaydesh Ve'ein Meridin, we always want to ascend and go higher in Kedusha. We start with the mitzvah of talus. And then we continue with the mitzvah of tefillin, because being that in the tefillin it speaks about Yichud Hashem, the oneness of Hashem, so the tefillin has a greater level of kedusha. so therefore that is the mitzvah that we want to do second. However, if let's say a person wants to daven right now, and all that they have is available, is their, ta- is their tefillin, so says Shulchan Aruch that they should put on their tefillin now first, even though it's of greater Kedusha, being that they don't have a talus available. And if later they will then encounter a talus, they should then put on a talus. Halacha number two is as follows, that if a person opens up his talus bag and at the top of his talus bag he encounters his tefillin, being that there's another rule that we've learned, that ein mavirin ala mitzvah, we don't delay a mitzvah. Being that he now encountered the mitzvah of tefillin first, he's not allowed to put the tefillin aside and put on the talis first, which is the correct order. He has to first put on his tefillin. And only once he put on his tefillin and fulfilled the mitzvah that came to him first, should he then put on his talis gadol. And therefore says the Shulchan Aruch that when, at the end of davening, when a person is putting away their talis and tefillin, they should be mindful to first put away their tefillin. And the tefillin should go at the bottom of their bag. And only then should they put away their talis. So that way the next day when they open up the bag, the first mitzvah that they will encounter will be the mitzvah of talis, which as we learned in the first halacha should be the first mitzvah that we should do and then fill in.